action. All right, let me know when we start filming. Wait, so we're already filming? Uh, <laughs> hey, hey everyone, it's Indie Andy here and welcome to my new show, Indie Andy, starring me. What's going on? Oh, hey Kyle. Everyone, me Kyle. Not only is he my roommate, but he's also my best friend. Well, first off, I'm kind of your only friend, no offense. And second of all, what, what is all this? Look, I like Andy. He's a cool guy. We went to high school together. I was the dungeon master for his D&D campaign. So when he asked me to be his roommate, I was like, sure, why not? Of course, that was before I knew how bad he is with money. Oh, this is the relaunch of my new show, Indy! Andy! Wait a minute, Indy Andy? Uh-huh. Wasn't that the name of that failed web series you tried to launch a couple years ago? Uh-huh. Wait a minute, this is a film crew. You hired a film crew? Where did you get the money to do that? Do not tell me you signed another contract. So, about a year or so ago, I tried starting up my own internet series. It was all well and good. Until... Until he signed a contract that nearly got us put out on the streets. Don't worry about it. This time I was extra careful. You can just call it in sync because there's no strings attached. Tell me why, Andy. Because I want it that way, Kyle. But don't worry, you don't have to say bye 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 to your rent money. I just used the money in the rainy day jar. The, the rainy day jar? Yeah, you know the jar with the big R on it. You mean the rent money? Yeah, that jar. The R is for rent. For rent, Andy! Well, don't worry about it, Kyle. Once this thing makes the big time and I'm a huge celebrity, we'll be living the good life. Oh, and that must be my trustworthy agent now, ready for a new acting gig. How many times do I have to tell you that guy is not a real agent? Oh, he's pretty good. No, no, he's really not. So, ever since the whole contract incident, Andy decided to hire his cousin as his agent. Now, his cousin is a college dropout who lives in his mom's basement. He's the kind of guy who will spend two hours lecturing you about exactly what was in the briefcase in Pulp Fiction. He's that guy. Now, the thing is, he has managed to get him a couple of like little commercials here and there, but they always pay him in uh, stuff. So Kyle's just a little uptight after the whole contract incident. Heck, my cousin's a great guy and a phenomenal agent. I even saw one of my commercials on TV once, albeit it was on a Vietnamese station and all my lines were dubbed over. But that's show business for you. <laughs> and sometimes I even get paid in stuff. Like last time I got paid in cardboard boxes. It was great. Kyle stayed up all night making forts with me. Andy thought the whole cardboard fort thing was a game. But I was practicing building myself a shelter. We were two weeks late on rent and I was making sure I would be prepared for anything. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, great. Sure thing. Yeah, will do. Bye. So was that your agent? 
<laughs> uh, no. Actually, that was our landlord saying that we have to get all these people out of here or he's going to kick us out on the streets. Okay, everybody, uh, I think that's going to be a wrap for today. Uh, come on, we don't really want to be on the streets. Let's go. Let's go. Come hey, on. everyone, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of my yep. new show. Mm -hmm. Be sure to tune in next time. Uh, what? What? Come on. Here we go. Look at this nice big door just for you. All right. Oh, sunlight. Bye. Sunlight. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 What an asshole. Next time on Stay Indie. So something my cousin recently got me into was location scouting. Anyway, you want to tell me why you made me drive halfway across town to go to some... Wait a minute. I know this bar. We shouldn't be here.